Welcome to Collecting Chaos. I will sometimes joke about having all of the Atlas comics. So I decided I'll show you my Atlas comics. Didn't pull out the magazines. These are just the comic book sized comics. If you want to see that, keep watching. Okay, we're going to start out with the Barbarians. Now, I'm not going to show you the insides because these are already all in Mylar. There's number one and number one. And number one and number one and if you wonder why I have so many of them it's not because I was speculating on them it's because a lot of times to get an issue that I wanted I had to buy a, a lot I had to buy you know three or four comics I didn't want to get one that I wanted or three or four that I already had to get one that I wanted here's blazing battle tales number one and there's a second copy of it And here's the Brute number one, and a second copy of that. Here's the Brute number two, and of course two copies. And Brute number three three and three three number threes makes sense right here's the cougar number one second copy and a third copy and a fourth copy And the Cougar number two, and a second copy, and a third copy. Some comics that don't go there. Uh, I'm not sure how these got mixed in. Uh, they go in a different box. And here's Demon Hunter number one. And I have two copies of that. Destructor number one. And there's another copy. And a third copy. And here's number two. And of course two three copies of that. And destructor number three. Two. Three. I have four copies of that. Destructor number four. And three copies of that. This is Fright featuring uh, Son of Dracula number one. And I have two copies. Grim Ghost number one. Two copies of that. Number two, two copies of that. Number three, two copies of that. And 
Then here's Hands of the Dragon. Two copies. Iron Jaw number one. Three copies of that. I thought I had more than that, but and I might run across more eventually, but eh, three is good enough. Iron Jaw number two. Two copies of that. Gotta love those covers. The Iron Jaw covers were pretty good. Number three. Three copies of that. Here's number four. And I have three copies of that. Morlock 2001, number one. And there's two copies. Number two which I have two copies. Here's number three. Two copies. Phoenix number one. And there's two copies of that. Number two, three copies of that. Here's number three, and I got two copies of that. And number four. There's three copies of that. Next up, Planet of the Vampires. And I absolutely love this cover. But I only have three copies. Planet of the Vampires number two. And this is a pretty good cover, too. Planet of Vampires 3. I have three copies of that. This is Police Action, featuring Lomax, NYPD. And I have two copies of that. That's number one. Number two. Two copies. Here's number three. Two copies. And we have Savage Combat Tales. Featuring Sergeant Striker's Death Squad, of which I have two copies of the first issue. See, I pretty much completed my run, and then in order to buy the last ones I needed, I ended up having to buy a second set. This is Death's, or Sergeant Sa Savage Combat Tales number three, or number two, excuse me, and I have three copies. I'm getting ahead of myself. Savage Combat Tales number three. And there's three copies of that. The Scorpion number one have only two copies. Scorpion number two, I have three copies. Sorry about the glare, but 
it is what it is when you put stuff in mylar there is a glare scorpion number three two copies Tales of Evil, number one. Two copy. Tales of Evil, number two. With the Bog Beast. Two copies. Tales of Evil, number three. And there's two copies. Target number one. Three copies. Notice how uh, there's two different. This is a lot darker red than this is. But the pink is the same. I've always thought that was kind of interesting. And this says a darker purple. And this is a lighter purple. Or a lighter blue. I don't know if they were second prints or what. Or maybe the ink was just running out. John Target Manstalker. Just, just, it's still Target. Number two. Three copies. The difference is he put on a costume. Number three. And there's two copies of that. Tiger Man, number one. Three copies. Tiger Man number two, two copies. Didn't much care for this comic. Tiger Man number three, do I have any more of those? I'm looking in another box. Nope, three copies. And that's it for the first box of Atlas Comics. The second box uh, shares, uh, well, is shared with Pacific Comics, but I don't have enough of those to show yet. Uh, so let's continue with Vicky number one. I only have one copy of this. It is probably, well, these next four are the most expensive of the Atlas Comics. Vicky number two, I have one copy of it. Vicky number three, and I bought a complete collection of Atlas Comics just to get these four Vickies. And they're in really nice shape. Vicky number four. Too bad they're all reprints. Weird Suspense, number one. I have two copies of that. Weird Suspense, number two. I have three copies of that. Weird Suspense, number three. Two copies. Western Action number one. Two copies. Wolf the Barbarian. Five copies. Yeah, it's like every time I bought some Atlas Comics, I had to get another copy of Wolf the Barbarian number one. 
which I mean it's a nice cover so I don't have that big a problem with it. Woof the Barbarian number two. Only have three copies of that. Woof the Barbarian number three. Those kind of went with the number ones. A lot of people had number one and number three. Wolf the Barbarian number four. And that are my, those are my Atlas comics. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's all of the Atlas comics. Not including the magazines. But as I go through my collection, if I find more, I'll update it. a lot of Alex comics. I told you I had them all. Literally, I have all of them. I don't think anybody else has any more. <laughs> no, you find them on eBay all the time. Um, I think they're worth picking up. A lot of the artwork's good. Some of the stories are really good. Some of the stories aren't too good. Uh, like I said, I think they're worth picking up if you can get them at a good price. Don't pay the 18 or the 15 to 25 dollars a piece that you see people asking for it. If you look around, you might be able to find them for under under three, four, five dollars a piece. That's the way I completed my collection. So don't forget, before you handle your comics, wash your hands. It's good for your comics. It's good for your health. And we'll see you next video. Bye.